We turn now to decision 2019. Voters will decide on a new mayor in that race. Regina Romero, Mike Sees, and Ed Ackerley. Three Tucson City Council seats are up for grabs in wards one, two, and four. News for Tucson's Leah Shahid has more on the candidates. Let's start with Ward 1. Democrat Lane Santa Cruz will face off against Republican Sam Nagy and Green Party candidate Matthew Smith. Whoever wins will be taking the seat vacated by Councilwoman Rahina Romero. Now to Ward 2, where incumbent Democrat Paul Cunningham will go up against Republican Ewart Williams and Green Party candidate William Peterson. And finally to Ward 4, where Republican and former TUSD board member Michael Hicks will take on Democrat Nikki Lee and Green Party candidate Kara Bissell. Whoever wins will take over the seat of Councilwoman Shirley Scott. Aliyah Shahid, News for Tucson. And also on the ballot, the controversial measure on whether to make Tucson a sanctuary city. This is Proposition 205. If passed, this would amend Tucson code to establish sanctuary policies, prohibit Tucson police participation in any law enforcement activity for the purpose of determining immigration status. Supporters say this would put new restrictions on when police can ask about immigration status or cooperate with federal law enforcement. Critics, however, say the city already has strong protections for immigrants and that this prop would endanger millions of dollars in state and federal funding. If passed, both sides say this will likely end up in court. Court. Well, also on the ballot, Prompt 409, if passed, this would increase the mayor and council member salaries. The mayor's salary would increase from $42,000 to $63,128 per year. Council member salaries would increase from $24,000 to $42,081 per year. If this prompt doesn't get passed, their salaries would remain the same. Well, city elections are all by mail and ballot. If you didn't mail yours in, you can still vote, but you must drop it off at a polling location. Ali Potter has more on today's vote. It's election day, folks, and a big day for Tucson as we elect a new mayor. Now it's too late to mail in those ballots, so drop off is the only option. More than 260,000 ballots were sent out. So far, a little more than 80,000 have been returned. 8 to 10,000 ballots are expected to be dropped off today. Polling locations opened at 6 o'clock this morning, and it's been a steady stream since. Uh, voting is uh, what shapes the city and uh, what shapes uh, the future uh, for all of us. So, I mean, you know, I mean, you have to stand for something in this world. So I, I really don't like the mail-in ballots. I like, you know, you, I think it ought to be a civic duty to come out and go to the polls and get people off their tails. There are seven drop off sites around Tucson. You can find the locations on our website, kvoa.com. Polling locations close at 7 o'clock, so you have a little bit of time to get those ballots dropped off. In Midtown, Ali Potter News for Tucson. And of course, later tonight, once the voting results start rolling in, News for Tucson will have all of your 2019 general election results on air, online, and of course, on your mobile devices.